What is up, everybody? It's your boy here today, and we have to talk about this new update from the team who was who was making a uh, Batman. Well, not Batman, but Gotham Knights, uh, the game without Batman included, but with the Batman family. Now, this game has been on a constant controversy since this game was announced. A game, a Batman game without Batman. That's one of the controversies. This game being co-op. Um, just a plethora of different controversies with this game. So now, <laughs> the newest detail the team has given us is that uh, apparently this game is going to be at 30 FPS. Uh, this is a statement that this one lady wrote. I don't know what uh, she's part. Apparently part of the team. I don't know what exactly she's a developer or a writer. I'm not really sure her. I'm not sure her position, but she gave us an update, and this is what she stated. I know many of you are wondering about the availability of a, of a performance mode for Gotham Knights on consoles due to the types of features we have in our game, like providing a fully untethered co-op experience in a highly detailed open world. It's not as straightforward as lowering the resolution and getting a higher FPS. For this reason, our game does not have a performance slash quality toggle option and will run at 30 FPS on consoles. Oh boy, we are in we are doing 30 FPS in 2022. What is going on? <laughs> now, last generation, I wouldn't have cared because it's like I don't I didn't really care about that whole FPS thing because most games run at 30 FPS to begin with on consoles, but now that we have hit the Xbox Series generation, the PS5 generation, and I have experienced 60 FPS, it's like, I kind of don't want to go back to 30 FPS. It feels like you're in quicksand when you go back to 30 games that's in 30 FPS. So this is very disappointing news. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be the whole, like, I, don't, I saw a lot of people saying they're going to cancel, pre, or pre, uh, cancel their pre-orders. I don't know if I'm going to go that far. Like, I still want to play this game, but that 30 FPS news is definitely a big, <laughs> a big downer right there. Like, really? 30 FPS in in modern modern times. That's kind of crazy. Like, I think a lot of people would have just had to say, hey, uh, screw the co-op mode if we can run at 60. Like, I don't know why that's not an option. Like, but when you look at PC gamers, they can play this game at 60 FPS and they're not paying that $70 price point because this game is 70 bucks on on both console platforms, but it's not 70 on the PC and they get the they don't got to worry about that 30 FPS cap. Which is like, what is going on? <laughs> Why is this even happening? Why is this 3 FPS on consoles? It's like, really? You can give us the option just to play with co op with an AI instead of just doing this untethered co op nonsense that you got to run the game as 30 FPS? It's very disappointing. So, I don't know. That's the, that's the most recent news update we got from this game. So, it's like. He, they just can't stop with the constant controversy with this game. <laughs> People want to just buy this game, enjoy another like uh, Batman related style game, but you know it, it just keeps coming with the bad news for this game apparently. So let's see if we pick. Let's see what you got to say about this. This is pretty disappointing. I can't even lie to you guys, and their reason for this is just not good enough. Doesn't sound like it's even coming. It doesn't sound like it's even coming either, so that doesn't mean that they don't. It doesn't sound like they're even gonna even patch an update, so you can just play this game sixty without co-op or without, I guess, another person. So definitely sucks. Um, my heart goes out for the console players. This is only affecting the people who buy it on consoles, but you've got to be playing on PC. You're not affected by any of this nonsense. So it's just ridiculous. How did they go from initially releasing on PS4 to not be able to hit sixty FPS on current gen? Uh. Yeah, I don't know. And the game isn't even that, like, visually impressive like that. Like, the game, that was one of the major complaints, too, that the game wasn't, like, it didn't look, it didn't look leagues beyond uh, uh, Arkham Knight. So, it's like, if the game isn't that visually impressive, the combat isn't, like, a whole, like, a, like it's not, like, a whole revolutionary. So, why is it at 30 FPS? Is it, just, is it straight because of this co-op nonsense? It's like, really... Highly detailed. Maybe they should take a look at what was considered highly detailed six years ago. Yeah, once again, Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, man, I can see an emergency delay, to be honest. I think it's too close at this point. They get a ton of hate for doing it six days out. Yeah, it's like it's way too late to delay this game now at this point. It's already pretty much out there. It's, it's about to release very soon, so... At this point, I'm no longer used to 30 FPS. It's actually nauseating after not having to play anything at 30 for so long. You can't, you can't do this whole generation where we're doing games at 60, then like make us go back to 30 FPS. So it's like, what's going on here? <laughs> it's like once you take it to the 60, it's like you don't want to go back anymore at this point. Like, uh, 
Got them nice players after realizing they're getting last year performance on the next gen consoles. Dies inside. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if you actually have the option to play this game on PC or consoles, you're probably better off playing this game on PC. But if you're a console gamer, you have no other choice, to be honest. Like, if I want to play this game, I have no other choice but to get on consoles. But this kind of sucks. I kind of hope they do a patch in the future to make this run at 60 FPS. But. Yeah, this is definitely a bummer with this new um, news announcement right here. Wasted seven years. Um, Pre-order canceled. Mm. Well, canceled my pre-order when rumor first said that it was going to wait until release to buy if it turned out to not be true. But looks like rumors were right, so we're picking up Evil West instead. Okay, a lot of people are canceling their pre-orders. Disgusting. Ladies and gents, this is what we call an L. I was like, I just don't get it. Like, how are we still doing 30 FPS in 2022? I was like, they didn't think that would be a major concern a lot of people would not like. Like, how do you just work on this game and say, hey, our fan base is not really, really not going to like us making this game run at 30 FPS. How do you not just figure that in when you're making this game? Because now people are just canceling their stuff entirely. So it's like... You just gotta wonder if these decisions these developers and, these, and the team just goes with at this point. Like I'm pretty sure they weren't trying to do it. They try. I'm pretty sure they probably may try to try the hardest to make it run at 60. But it's like you gotta know that people are not gonna be happy with this news right here. Like, um, not defending 30 FPS, especially when your game looks and plays the way this does. Yeah, it's not even like leaps and bounds, like leaps and bounds, like revolutionary gameplay at that. So it's like. Is the co-op really hindering this game like this? Uh, what an absolute joke. How did they decide to not release it on PS4, Xbox One, but can't have it run at 60 FPS on PS5 slash Xbox Series X? Might as well have kept it on last gen. Yeah, might as well. Like, why did they not keep it off last gen at that point? It was put on last gen as well, too. If it's running at that uh, frame rate. At least give a single player 60 FPS. Yeah, at least do that. They could at least do that. Like, I don't know how this game is going to sell with this news like this. Like, I'm pretty sure like the average casual probably doesn't care, to be honest. Like The casual, the person who probably goes into a Walmart or Target and sees the store on a store store is probably going to buy it either way. I think this is mainly for people who like look at, like... I guess like gaming news or whatever who really cares about this like I think the average person really doesn't care but this definitely is kind of a bummer though like I'm probably still gonna get the game to be honest because I'll just love the Batman stuff in general but it's just like it's just just disappointed why bother making a next gen only then weird uh yeah nah you're good how can every other game have performance mode even with co-op and use that as an excuse to the FS should should have been should have died when PS5 and Xbox Series X released. They delayed the game and pushed it to next gen for this. Mm. Wow, what a pathetic excuse. Guess what, does People are not going to be playing co-op in this game. I don't know why every game thinks they need to have an online feature, especially if you are prioritizing that over how your game actually plays and feels disappointed to say the least. How is it 2022 and we still can get at the minimum reliable, reliable get games playing at 60 FPS? I don't know. <laughs> like, why? You think that would be a priority now to get, get, getting your game running 60 FPS at the bare minimum? Like, why is this such a hard thing to do? Like, I don't know. Especially for a game that doesn't even look like that impressive, like, uh, graphically wise. Like, it's not blowing, uh, like, it's not like blowing your 4K TV, like your 4K TV display away with this, the visuals. It's like, it's like, why is 60 so hard to do? And they want seventy four. Yeah, that's just a reminder. They want seventy dollars for this game too, a next gen only title. But they want seventy dollars for this game, but the performance looks like a last gen game though. So that's interesting. Uh, Gotham Knights would not be copped at all. Okay. Between this and an awful gameplay reveal and the astound astoundingly bad design menu, it's easy to see that this would be an awful game. Look at this BS. 
<laughs> was excited for this game, but not anymore. Plenty of other more detailed and club games look and run better on PS5. PS5 can easily handle this game on 60 FPS. It just seems like it was never their priority in the first place. Just some bizarre decisions from this uh, Gotham Knights team right here. That is a bummer. That's a that's an understatement right there. That's a huge bummer right there. Um, well, it seems the world's most powerful consoles aren't enough to avoid Gotham Knights from using the same old stories. So I like they're tying physics to frame rate, so desync if people ran different graphics modes, or that they just failed to get the performance. What if we won't ever play co-op? This is kind of a weird decision, to be honest, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not going to play co-op, so... A lot of people aren't even going to play co-op anyway. Then why not make it 60 FPS for people who don't play co-op? Like, at least have that option in there. Uh, Gotham Knights equals dead on arrival. I don't think that's going to be true. I think this game is going to still sell really well with casuals who don't know about this news, who don't know about the whole 60 FPS thing. I don't, I don't think they really care. But I think it's still going to sell really well. So, yeah. So, I'm going to include it right here. Kind of get the gist of what people are saying. Some people are saying they're going to uh, cancel their pre-orders. They're not happy about this news. And yeah, it just doesn't make any sense why. It could, it could at least put it on last generation uh, platforms at this point. But it's still going to run at 30 FPS. Like, why not have it on PS4 and Xbox One at this point? But it's still going to run at this frame rate. So, uh, those are my thoughts about this. Definitely see your thoughts down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching. And peace.